Well, hey there. Welcome to another episode in our 1.13 Minecraft Survival Series. This is Bell Math one here, and we're starting off pretty much right where we left off. There's our beautiful, beautiful kelp farm. It seems to be working pretty well. Uh, it's still got some uh, definite growth that needs to happen so that they all become water sources, and it'll start looking a little bit better after that happens. But, uh, we're going to go right into starting on our sugarcane farm. We're going to stick it right over in this corner. And it's going to be pretty similar in design. Uh, there will be like a what is it, 2 by 6 pattern of a sticky piston that's going to push out each section. And uh, this will be the collection area for that as well. Although, maybe... Maybe this kelp section needs to uh, feed into some sort of automatic smelter so it all becomes the uh, cooked kelp right away. Uh, I, I'll have to look into that. That might be an episode on its own, derping around with what kind of redstone we can use for that. But uh, I guess for now, I'm going to start laying out blocks, at least get a back wall in, and meet back up with you. Well, we're back. And I had to uh, figure out how to get a machine I designed that's six wide on the inside. How to get that to tile in a window that's five wide. <laughs> With a little one wide there. So what I wound up doing was, I think I did one full panel, and then I did like three in between it instead of just the two that I needed. And I rounded those off in the corner because I think that looks pretty good. And that's as close as I can get those two cells together. Uh, but I could put, you know, a block, stay there, like a block on the other side of that piece of glass and that piece of glass and all the way up so that I could completely cover those droppers and the observer but I think I'm going to leave it like this, honestly. It allows you to kind of see down to the next cell. Like, see, if, if this one was that way, then we wouldn't be able to see quite as well down through there. And it works. <laughs> I've got some sugar cane. I just kind of took the design that I put in the tutorial. That's up on my channel, and I... Uh, configured it to what I needed for the space I had. Same thing you do with just about everything in Minecraft, really. I've got uh, the trigger mechanism down here for this one, just an observer. It'll catch that one sugarcane block that grows right there. Actually. Like that. And I just put a redstone line in between so that it can trigger more than one cell. And I've got just a one wide gap between these guys because I have their detection cells on opposite ends. So if you do that, you can have a one just a one wide gap in there and be perfectly fine. Um, this corner, I probably should have put both well, no, I, I had to have that observer facing that way. And then this one, I needed to, to fill three wide gaps so that it would come over far enough. So I just kind of put a one space in between the observers. They're both sharing that block. So anytime either one of those fires, both of these pistons go off. So that's another way to design it too. If you were just doing a solid wall with like two cells side by side, you could very easily get away with either this or one on each end with only one gap in the middle. I'll let you decide. Your world, your way. So really not that bad at all. I haven't found a lot of loss, which I'm super happy about because I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't expecting any. 
And all I did for the second layer was directly above the top piston. The Actually, let me uh, show you real quick. Those slime blocks also pull the, those five blocks ahead. So all 11 of those blocks pop forward, hit sugarcane, knock it against the glass. Uh, like that. Uh, I do not have that one as a movable block because if it moves in front of the observer, then it's going to create a clock. It's just going to keep going. So I had to lose that one. And the only time I see any loss, it's usually like right there because the piece that... That piece sometimes sits down on the on the sand. Other than that, it all gets pushed over against the glass. And that's why I did the that's why I designed it this way. So that uh, almost all of it, a very, very good chunk of it, is almost is guaranteed to hit this water stream. So let's see. Let's get over here. And I started on the second layer, thought I'd better pull you guys back in. So the second layer, it is literally just dirt blocks right over top of where the top row of movable blocks goes. Which is why those blocks are not slime blocks as well, even though they could be. Uh, that way I, have, I can use less droppers. Uh, you could use obsidian, you could use furnaces, you could use whatever you want. I used droppers because I had them in my inventory. Or I had them over in my redstone chest. Um, so yeah, just a piece of dirt. I used coarse gravel, or coarse dirt. I put uh, some trap doors on the front of them. And so far I haven't noticed that, I haven't noticed any loss because of it. And it looks real nice. So you got the piece of dirt on top of the movable blocks and directly on top of the movable blocks in uh, in their resting state put a slab put a row of slabs fill each slab with water slabs water and that's so that when these blocks move out water doesn't drip down it wasn't actually a problem until I washed out my redstone because of uh, this piston firing too fast and leaving all 11 of these blocks out there. Uh, that just let the water drain right down and washed out all my redstone and a bunch of torches and it was super annoying. This, super easy fix. Slabs on the bottom. The water will not go down through them. It'll go off to the sides, It'll, but it won't go down through the bottom and then see this layer is going to be what do I got I got so this layer has to be droppers so that the slime box don't move it as well as no not that one well yes actually that one so it'll have to be this and then a slime box is going to be moving in that space so you have to have a second one and then wretch right there and along here and then I didn't dig out enough I guess not that it takes a super long time to do it and then I want some slime ah <laughs> yeah All right. the water stream will pick that up yeah I was trying to do it against the uh, sugar cane but sometimes you miss sometimes it just goes through and I don't like that uh oh That's not where it... Well, okay then. 
Yeah, let's go here and here so that we can hop up. Get rid of that. And then our floor for the uh, redstone is the same level as the droppers, is the main row of droppers. And I'm, I'm definitely going to want a few of those. Actually, I'm finding that the best place to put them is like right behind the uh, right behind the slime blocks. All right, so this level we want that to observe the top growth like that. And a little bit of that. Okay, so they're going to feed into that block. I am I decided to start using uh, the stone blocks, the stone bricks, mostly because I, I want to know, if I'm coming at it from any other direction, I want to know what blocks I shouldn't touch because of the redstone. That was uh, one of the problems that I had with the uh, with those doors that I ruined right there and uh, somewhere on the other side or no yeah yeah so those doors got kind of ruined because I didn't it, it was too late by the time I realized I was hitting them then a layer of slime blocks and very important this block that is kitty corner right to the observer has got to be a non-movable block. Otherwise, like I said, it's just going to be a clock. Trigger, back. It going back is a trigger, which makes it go forward, trigger, back, trigger, forward, trigger. Nobody wants that. But these blocks don't have to be. So let's go with... Uh, a little bit of that. And hopefully the uh, slab with the water trick helps you guys out because I wish I had known about it before I started having to replace my redstone. Uh, there we go. So just for my own personal design here, I'm just going like that. And I will want that strip to be nice colored concrete. Uh, the redstone's pretty simple. Well, actually, sticking the sticky piston down might not be. Well, I, yeah, it won't be bad. Just go in here. And then place the. Uh, Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, what can I get rid of? There we go. And this one won't be won't be quite as bad. There we go. And then a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and a little pick block magic, because I love doing that. And that's the next two layers. And then on top of here is where you would put your dirt. Right there. And your slabs. Go right there. Preferably with something to keep the water from flowing out the sides. And that just keeps going up. I'm hoping to get two more layers. I think I can. I think I'll finish this layer and still get one more. Uh, at least that's, that's the dream. So just like that. And <laughs> I really... 
really should have invested in more than one bucket because this has been a trial a little bit of a trial Whoa. so anyway I'm gonna keep going with this I'll actually I'll quickly show you uh, the redstone part of it like I said I do have a tutorial for it but Essentially, you want repeater on the second tick going into that. Repeater on the second tick going into that piston. And then you just bring out the redstone like that. You can pipe it over to the next one if you want. Uh, I was having a heck of a time trying to figure out how I, want, how I was going to... Uh, get the redstone piped over here and have it go both ways like I need to put a repeater on it to extend the signal but if I extend it going that way and this way with the repeater I wind up with a clock and uh, uh, maybe I needed a TU flip-flop or something like that but you know I'm not I'm obviously not a redstone genius or anything quite yet so right there so I didn't get that figured out let me get rid of that one punch and oh there we go so for each cell that's really all you got to do is repeater two ticks and redstone going from the back of the observer to it or from the block behind it if there was a block there kind of like that looks like I want to light this up and continue on I know I didn't actually need all those torches but they do make it look nicer it's a uh, definitely much brighter so I'll be back in a bit and we're back I got the farm finished finally uh, I actually I actually had to tear down uh, if you remember I had the next juncture right here so that was two wide and then I had one wide and then I had the sensors on this end facing that way and of course you know like we always do in Minecraft I decided I wanted it to a different way uh, let me jump in here real quick I don't have a lot of time to record right now because I uh, I coach youth wrestling I coach uh, kindergarten through eighth grade wrestling and I got about 10 minutes right now until I gotta be there to uh, get the next generation of wrestlers in our our town up and going so I liked this little section right here and I decided that I was gonna do that over here as well it's kind of right behind this double or this little one wide gap here kind of just like that one is and let me let me show you the real reason that I chose to go this way because it puts it, it makes it so that every time either one of those goes off both go off if that triggers this redstone line for that piston, it also triggers that one. So it's a two for one. And then I also, that's that's what I had over here, and I, I like that design. Two for one. That's always a good deal, especially on something that doesn't grow super fast. And then I decided, well, since they're all right there, they're both moved closer now, Whenever this thing signals for that piston to go, it's also going to signal for those two and those two. So if that triggers, all five go, which I thought was pretty neat. I like I like that idea. Does the, they don't they don't grow super evenly. Like you see here, now these other five could could grow before that one. 
Same on this side. I don't have any on me, do I? Um, let's grab a little bit. But yeah, you see how unevenly they grow. So I basically got it now. So you can see both of those went and this one went. And actually maybe over here is a better and then all those go. Wait, did that not go? Yeah, it did go. It was just too slow. And it just collects everything real nicely. Collecting quite a bit. And I'm really happy with the progress. Besides, I think it looks really nice. Uh, the cactus farm is kind of in the way, but that's kind of the point, is all the big, obtrusive farms going down here, and that space right there seems, even though it's blocking the sugarcane farm a little bit, it still seems like the best place for it because it kind of centers itself between some of the lighting that we have on the floor, which is nice, and, you know, there's there's a walkway around it. Like, it's not, it's not super sque squeezed together with something else. It's not, I mean, I could have dug it into a wall, but... I wanted to go up here. Let me up. But yeah. I think that I think we've got a winner. And now the only thing left to do is some puzzle. Uh, I didn't grab any mossy cobble, did I? Do I have any in here? What did I do with it? Please don't tell me that I tossed it or something equally dumb. <laughs> I might have. There's been a couple of times where I've kind of been like that and then and exited and it's gone like that. Uh, so maybe I lost. I hope not. Not that we can't make more. Vines and, vines and stuff will do it. Alright, so this... think we're just gonna mimic the other side um, glowstone definitely yeah definitely definitely some glowstone yeah that, that definitely dates me because uh, a lot of you are not gonna get that reference all right let's see let's go right back here because that's gonna be hidden Actually, oh, don't you just love when you do that? I mean, I love the fact that we have strip bark now, but <laughs> I do that too often, way too often. All right, let's use the pickaxe. There we go. Uh, where else? So there's some decent lighting up front here. Um... What do we got for eight, nine? So this might be the other dark spot. So we'll stick that right there. And that's 10 block, nine block. All right, that's good. And uh, build us a, a happy little tree here. Uh, how far did I go up? That seems about right piece of glowstone to light up the leaves and then I may not have enough leaves on me yeah I don't think I'm gonna That'll work for now. Got a little bit of fern action. Let's see, one right there, one right there. And I'm gonna come back with some mossy cobble, definitely. Uh, 
Let's see. And there. That'll work. So you get kind of where I'm going with that. I'm really I'm really liking it. I just need to put some more leaves, flesh it out a little bit more. And uh, I need to bring some bone meal down here and hit a couple of those ferns so that they become too tall, like that. A little bit of mossy cobble. Make it kind of look like it's a boulder that's kind of fallen, fallen out. And uh, we've got ourselves a nice looking, a real nice looking uh, sugarcane farm. Yeah, even from this angle, it looks pretty good. I think uh, that being over one actually helps out because from this angle, you can just kind of see it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. How's the cactus farm doing? Not bad. Uh, how's the kelp farm doing? Not too shabby. Now, am I running into any issues? You know what? Before I do something I regret, get those out of my hand. Alright, so that's age 11. That should reach the top. Age 19, that's not going to. Age 11, that should reach the top. Let's see. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's going to reach the top. It just doesn't grow very fast. That one, probably not. That one is definitely going to reach the top. And these are, I tested them. I grabbed some kelp and went all the way up. And uh, one of these hits the top, everything triggers. Which is real nice, especially when we have all those ones that were kind of low at 19. Like that's 15, 14. Those might reach the top, but maybe not. H5, that's definitely. This one's not. See H24? That's not going to. But it won't matter, because at least one of them is going to make it up. Let's get rid of the F3. So I've got to get going, and uh, I want to, don't want the kids waiting on me. So if you liked what you saw, you learned a thing or two, if you got a thing or two to teach me, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Always looking at the comments. And uh, until next episode, hope everyone has a good night.